Hi love, so welcome back to my channel. And today's video, I'm going to do a press on tutorial. And I think this is a perfect time to do a press on tutorial, giving the circumstances and the fact that we are quarantined and in the house and we don't have our nail salons right now. And not only that, press on nails are bomb. Like if you are not into the press on nails then you need to be, because let me tell you, they are really good and you can have your own creativity when doing your own press on nails. And then but before we continue on, if you have not hit the subscribe button, then please do. I'd really appreciate it. And if you have already hit the subscribe button, then welcome back to my channel. You guys are so much appreciated. Love you guys. Oh my goodness. So yes, I want to say quickly, I hope all is well with this chaos that is going on in the world. I just want to put that out there first. Um... Yeah, with that being said, get your nails done, but the nail salon isn't open. I'm telling you guys, you can do it at home. Just take the time, and we all have that right now. So yes, I love press-on nails, not only for, again, this time, but also in between, like, nail salon appointments. Amazon, hands down, the best place to get everything, okay? Everything for your press-ons. And, um... Yeah, mine typically lasts uh, two weeks, but I will explain that all in the video. I do not want to have a super long intro, which I probably already do. So let's just get straight into the video. So first you're going to need some oil. I'm using argan oil because that's what I have on hand. You'll need some cuticle sticks. I have these wooden sticks. Um, you would need a nail clipper if you don't plan on keeping it at the length that it's at. A nail file, nail glue, your full cover nail tips, and nail polish of your choice. I'm using gel nail polish, which of course you need a UV light with. So these are the press on nails um, that I picked up from Amazon. They have different sizes, like these things are really good. I'm just showing you guys that here and now I'm gonna start off by putting my argan oil um, on my fingers and we're going to uh, put that on each finger and just rub it in just to soften our cuticles and now I'm just pushing them back with that wooden cuticle stick if you are not comfortable with push pushing your cuticles back I would recommend you to skip this you really don't have to do it but yeah I'm just pushing those back very gently. So now I just wash my hands just to get the excess oil off. And I'm going in with my nail file to take the shine off of my nails. So it would just um, allow the, the glue to um, stick better. That's the word so I just did that to each finger and I'm gonna take it a step further by using my nail prep dehydrator you don't have to use this but this really helps to dehydrate the nail again you want to take that shine off because it will make your tips um, your press-ons last longer so So now I'm going to um, basically figure out what sizes my, um, you know, for my nails. But I was just showing you guys here really quickly that um, they're really sturdy. Honestly, they feel like acrylic nails when I'm finished. But yeah, so I'm just gonna make sure I find the correct sizes for each nails, and then I just put that aside. And now I'm going to use my nail glue, and I picked this up from Amazon. It was only $1.99, and it works really well. It honestly works better than um, more expensive nail glue that I've paid for. But yeah, so I'm just gonna put like two drops, as you saw there, and you just wanna press firmly, probably hold it for like a few seconds, so I'm just gonna do the same to each nail. You just wanna get those tips on and again, for, uh, press firmly. I 
a lot of this is repetitive so yeah I just kind of skip through a lot but you get the idea just you want to get your nails on there on each finger So now I have all my nails on and you can keep it this length if you really want to. I think it's a little too long for me so I decided that I'm going to cut it down and yeah. Just take your time here with cutting your nails down because you want them to all be the same um, length. I would recommend the other side you want to cut a little longer you want the nail because it's easier to have to cut off some excess length than to if you cut too short and then how do you fix that you know so and you want to make sure that you line up the nails uh, the both sides to make sure that the lengths are the same side for each finger so now I'm moving on with my nail file and I want a coffin shape. This shape is nice, but I just want my corner on uh, my sides to, to go more inward. So I'm just turning my nail file to the side to just even it up and um, again, pull the sides inward more if that makes any sense. I know like for me, it's super hard to explain this part, but that's just what I'm doing. And then I like to file the tip of the nail just so it's just nice and even and not as sharp because when you cut them, they tend to be sharp. So you definitely want to do that. And I'm just, again, repeating the same step for each nail. So I'm bringing my sides inward and then falling down the tip of my nail. And you do it to the shape that you like. It's all up to you. So now I'm done, I got the shape that I want. And I'm just showing you guys here this UV lamp. You're going to need that when using um, gel polish. This one I got as a gift, so I don't remember. Um, I don't know, I can't tell you guys where to get it, but yeah, so I'm just showing you guys here that I'm gonna use that black and this Barbie pink and then my top coat. So we're gonna start off with the first coat you just want to apply that to your nails the best way you can. I am not a professional, so I just do um, the best I can. And I'm doing like a little pattern here, so that's why I skipped over the nails. So I'm doing like three of the nails are going to be pink and the other two are going to be black. So now I'm going in with that black color. This is a mood gel color. It's super cool. It kind of gives an ombre effect. It goes off of temperature. So I'm just gonna apply that. And of course, when you mess up, you can just wipe away like what I did with my other nail there. And now you're going to cure that for 60 seconds. There's a timer on there, so when I press the button, it kind of just lets me know. Um, they all pretty much have that, so yeah, but you definitely want to cure it for 60 seconds. And now I'm doing the same to the other side, so I'm just applying again that first coat of nail polish.
So now I'm going to cure that the other side for 60 seconds. Each time you add polish, you want to cure um, cure the nail polish for 60 seconds. And here I'm just adding that second coat. So you definitely want two coats on your nails just to give it that desired color, that nice color. So I'm just applying that second coat of nail polish. So now I'm going to cure that again for 60 seconds and again I'm doing the same to the other side. This step is repetitive so I just wanted to show I didn't really want to skip through too much of the nail of me doing my nail polish. I mean polishing my nails because I just kind of felt like you know why not show you guys that. So I decided to add this glittery uh glittery sparkly nail polish so this is going to be my third coat and I'm just getting that all over. I just love glitter, so. So I am again doing the same to the other side and I didn't show myself curing that, but you definitely want to. And last, this is the top coat. I will say get the no white top coat um, if you don't want to have to use alcohol to uh, wipe it when you're finished. So I like this one. But yeah, we're just gonna apply that all over the nails and then you're gonna, uh, you're gonna cure it again for 60 seconds and then you are done. That was all guys. I really hope that you liked this video and I'll see you loves in my next.